Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to try and speed up our trusty old AM1 socketed system. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so this little box of tricks is my uh, AM1 Mini ITX build. Uh, this is consisting of a Athlon. 5350 processor which runs at about 2 gigahertz on four cores. It's got integrated Radeon 3 graphics. Uh, it's not exactly a power horse, but it's fantastic for things like multimedia PCs, that kind of thing. Anything low powered that you want to keep quiet. So it's all well and good at being quiet, but it's very slow. Now a lot of that is because I'm still using a mechanical hard disk drive in there, similar to one of these. So what I thought I'd do is dig out one of my laptops, which isn't getting any use or very little use, which actually has got a SSD in it. I'm going to take the SSD out. I'm going to use the Oracle disk cloning tool to clone the disk information on there onto this old hard disk drive. Then I'm going to copy the hard disk drive in my AM1 system onto the new SSD. Sounds simple in theory, but let's give it a go and see how we get on. Okay, so that's the SSD out of the machine, and uh, we've got our hard disk drive. So now we need to set up the Orco Dual Bay USB 3.0 or standalone hard drive duplicating dock. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that back in now. Right, so that's everything plugged up. So this is the Orco Dual Bay docking station drive cloning tool. On the back, it just takes a power supply, and there's a switch to choose between clone or PC. Put it in PC mode, connect it to the USB 3 and you can use it as a external hard drive caddy. So you've got two sections on the top, you've got your target and your source. So basically you plug the drive with the data on that you want to copy as being your source, and the drive that you want the data to go to, you put in your target. Sounds pretty simple. So the information from the 120 gig SSD from the Patriot, we want to be the source drive and the target is the old 320 gig SS, uh, hard disk drive. So, let's power it on. Wait. Wait for the drives to power up. We've got two blue LEDs, which means the drives are okay. So all we've got to do now is press the start button on the back. And the LEDs on the front of the display will give you an idea of how long the drive copy is going to take. Uh, this shouldn't take too long because there's not a great deal of information on there. So that gives me enough time to take apart my little AM1 system. Now this case, if you're interested, if you want to build yourself a mini ITX based system, this is the Relan H80. Now there's a few different variations of it around, um, but I'll put some links in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves. But it's actually a really nice little case. If you want something nice, neat, compact, uh, this is definitely the way to go. And it is very reminiscent of the, um, is it the Apple Mini PC or Mac Mini? That's the one. The thing is it's so well made, it's very difficult to get the top panel off. Because hopefully we'll be needing that again very shortly. So inside the form factor is very tiny and I've actually stuck that in with a bit of tape because I lost the screws. So to give you an idea of what's inside, it's not a lot. It's very, very empty. But we do have Arctic cooling fan in there, so that keeps things nice and cool and nice and quiet. Now hopefully with this new um, SSD in there, it is gonna be actually completely silent, which will be great, because although the machine doesn't have any real noisy parts to it, the, uh, the mechanical hard drive was actually the loudest part of it. So there is our drive, ready to be cleaned. So looks like we've got a little while left on the drive cleaning tool, so I'm going to go and listen to some music and I'll be back after it's finished, hopefully. Hopefully it won't be too long. See you in a bit. Now 
Okay, so we're back a little bit later than planned. Uh, had a few other little jobs I had to attend to, but now the uh, it's all done and dusted. We've put the SSD back into the AM1 system. So just to recap, we've taken out the hard disk drive that was in there, the mechanical hard disk drive, copied all the information off of it using the RK drive cloning tool, put it onto a nice fast SSD solid state drive. So this is gonna give us two benefits. One is gonna be speed, and the second is gonna be silence. So there's virtually no moving parts in that machine now, apart from the Arctic Cooling AM1 cooler, which is pretty much silent anyway. So I'm really excited to see how quickly this is gonna boot up now. So all that's left for me to do is to press the button. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take my lav mic off and I'm gonna put the mic right next to the PC so you can actually hear how loud it is, or not as the case may be. So there, as you can see, that was uh, pretty darn fast. And also it is completely silent to my ears. I cannot hear a single thing. I don't know if uh, anything was picked up on the microphone, but I very much doubt it. This thing is totally, totally silent. And it booted up very quickly. I guess that was probably about 20, 30 seconds to get into Windows. I'll have to check it back on the time code, but I'm guessing it's around that kind of, uh, kind of time scale. Previously with the uh, mechanical hard disk drive, two minutes, maybe two and a half minutes to get booted up. Whether there's a problem with that drive or not, I'm not entirely sure, but it was damn slow and I just couldn't deal with it. And also being that it's on the media center, the last thing you want to do is to come in after a day's work to try and watch something or do something, turn the computer on and then have to sit there waiting, strumming your fingers, waiting for it to kind of load up. This is almost instantaneous. So now we're going to try uh, TTV, which is going to be another big test of this because TTV does take a long time to load up because it has to kind of establish all the background network connections, etc. Um, but previously it was taking about the same time as Windows to boot up. So best part of two minutes to wait. So all in all, nearly five minutes just to get the system up and ready to watch something. So let's fire up now and see what happens. Now that's TTV clicked on. It does take a little while to start up. So in the meantime, I'll tell you a little bit about TVTT. TTTV, there's lots of T's in there. Basically, TTV is an app that you can run on Windows, Android, Apple, etc., uh, Fire Sticks, all those kind of things. And it's essentially, it's very much like Kodi, but a, li a lot simpler to use. All the links, all the uh, background stuff is updated by TTV themselves. So you don't have to worry about updating to the latest uh, versions of the program. It's done for you within the program. And also you've got options in there for uh, movies, TV, anime, all sorts of things, just a, a simple search engine. And there we go, it's up. So, um, well, our internet's a little bit slow at the moment, but as you can see, it's loaded and that took probably, I don't know, like 20, 30 seconds or so. Not a great deal longer than that. So well within what you'd expect to load up a program. So this has turned out to be um, a, a pretty good thing to do. The machine is completely silent as far as I can tell. It's much, much faster and it's turned what is basically a doorstop into something which is actually practical for use in home. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.